Hi guys, Rad Roscoe back again for a quick collection update video. Um, first of all, let me apologize for the shakiness of the video here because my tripod's broken and I'm hand holding the camera. I'm going to get a new one, but I don't know when, so apologies for if I'm making you seasick right now, but I'm doing my best to hold it steady, so thank you for your patience. Anyway, as you might be able to tell, um, this video is about the Digimon manga. Uh, it was put out by Tokyo Pop in English in the early to mid 2000s, and it's quite rare, quite hard to come by. Um, it's not super rare, it's just more that when you do see it around, it's very expensive. So it's taken me a good couple of years to collect the volumes at a reasonable price. Uh, but I finally managed to collect them all, which was a collecting goal of mine. So I'm really, really happy about that. And I wanted to share my happiness with you guys. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you each of the volumes, the covers, and then I'm going to show you all the volumes together at the end of the video. And what I want you to do is if you could pop a comment down below um, to let me know if there's any interest in seeing like a quick flip through each of the volumes. I might do it as like a weekly video, go through a different volume each week, um, just show you what I think are standout examples of the art, which is lovely by the way. Um, I'm not going to go through each page individually and stuff like that because that might be a copyright infringement, but I am willing to show you guys, you know, what I think are the really cool pages and pieces of art in it. Um, so just comment down below if you're interested in that and I'll make a new video maybe next week going through the first volume. Anyway, as I said, I'm going to show you the covers of each of the volumes in turn. So this is Digimon Adventure 01 Volume 1, Digimon Adventure 01 Volume 2 with Matt and Garurumon looking badass, Volume 3, Really, really cool. Volume 4. And the final Volume 5. Ah, and this even has the cool bookmark still inside. <laughs> no one's ripped it off, so that's cool. This is Adventure 02, Volume 1. Now, there was five... Uh, volumes of Adventure 1, but only two volumes of Adventure 2. So it's a lightning fast read, and they really, really uh, sort of abridge the story to an incredible degree. It's, I would say it's my least favourite of the three series, but, um, you know, it just, they just kind of butchered the story, but the art's still really nice. So there's Volume 1 and Volume 2. And now, Tamers, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, and Volume 4. How awesome. Now, Volume 4 of Tamers is possibly the most scarce one. It's the rarest, as is often the case with things. The last of a series is always the most expensive. But I managed to get a stonkingly good deal on this. I got this one and Volume 3 from an eBay seller for a combined price that I won't tell you. But it was a very, very good price. I got both of them for less than half of the price that I saw this volume going for on other eBay auctions and Amazon. So... I was really, really happy to get these. And the best deal I've had was actually Volume 2 of Tamers. Um, I got that for £16 delivered, which is unbelievably good value, especially given that the condition is pretty damn good for the price. Because um, this volume could go for something like £50. So I'm really, really happy to have got that. And that was off Amazon. 
So it just goes to show you that there are actually still deals to find on Amazon if you look. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's all the volumes. And let's see, is there anything else I should tell you about it? Oh, interesting fact. Um, this manga is not Japanese. This manga is actually originally Chinese. Um, I think that's quite interesting because usually you think of manga as being an exclusively Japanese thing. But this was actually drawn and written in China. And Tokyo Pop brought it over and published it in English-speaking regions. So, interesting fun fact. Okay, so I'll leave it there and, and here's all the volumes together. Don't they look great? Uh, I'm really, really pleased to have a complete set of this manga. Um, it's hard to come by at a decent price. Um, it's not so much that they're rare. I mean, they're semi-rare, I would say. You don't come across them that often. It's more that when you do, people want like over £100 per volume or, you know, $150 per volume, which is just way more than I'd ever be willing to pay. I love Digimon, but not that much, you know, <laughs> like not enough to scunner my bank account. Um, so it's taken me a good, good couple of years to find all the volumes at a price I was willing to pay. I got really lucky on eBay a few weeks ago. Uh, Alex Digital Dream, uh, he was along for the ride on that saga. I was basically sending him constant updates about whether the seller was accepting my offer and stuff like that. Um, so shout out to him, um, you know, for being the moral support there. I just, uh, I can't say how glad I am to have a complete collection of this. Um, I'm not sure if there's that many complete collections out there that are, you know, it's, it's just not a thing that you see that often. So, uh, if anyone out there does have a complete collection, I'd love to know about it. Uh, take to think I was the only one, but, um, they're great. The art's great. They're a good read. And if you see any individual volumes that are at a decent price, I would just say pick them up because even if you can't complete the set, they're still a nice collector's item and they're fun. To, they're a fun read and the art's really, really nice. So yeah. Anyway, thanks very much for stopping by and watching the video and, uh, joining me because, uh, I just really wanted to share my joy at finally having a complete collection of the uh, Digimon Adventure and Tamers uh, mangas. So thanks very much. Bye.